Welcome viewers, I'm Danny and this is Chris here and today we'll be showing you the Rebel Lug display at Brickwell Chicago 2017. So Chris, what do we have right here? Right here we have our Scarif collaboration mock. We've got Chris Productions tower in the center. We've got Lego Paul's fantastic bunker. And then of course a few islands built by other Rebel Lug members. And that turned out to be quite the tower and quite the overall mock. And tell us a little bit more about these vehicles you see throughout. Are these also custom? So we have half custom, half Lego models. So the TIE Strikers are all the Lego models. And then the X-Wings are modified Lego sets to be changed up to the accurate Rogue One colorings. We have a custom U-Wing and two regular Lego U-Wings. And as well as the AT-ACTs, those are a design found on a Rebrick and then modified to fit Rogue One's AT-ACTs. Now, how did the construction of all this come together? Because we can see here that the, the actual Scarif Tower is lower, and then it looks like these side islands are on tables. So how does that all work together? So what we did is we had to construct its own tables. It was very difficult and a little bit dangerous, but we came through and we were able to lower the tower <laughs> and raise up the other um, sections in front and behind to kind of match up with the rest of the island level. All right, so lowering it was quite something that had to be done for Scarif, so we, we've got kind of the water going down into it and then all those studs in the bottom, really creating that imperial superstructure feeling for the whole mod. So now we can look at the back where we were, we got some Revelug collaborating going on. We have two rooms built by Revelug members and uh, the bottom two are constructed right into the tower. We've got a nice pool for the stormtroopers and we've got the real shore troopers in there. And then if we look at the other room, it is a bit of a target practice or shooting range. Of course, none of those minifigures in there will be hurt because stormtroopers can't really get what they're aiming for. <laughs> Do you have a rough estimate of about how many minifigs are used in this? Minifigs? There's something between 100 and maybe 120 minifigs in the overall mob. And is it split about evenly with Stormtroopers and Rebels? Uh, or? Rebels are quite outnumbered as this is an Imperial facility. Of course we do also have the cafeteria up higher and the Death Star plans or at least the data banks at the Citadel Tower here. And there you can see Jyn Erso grabbing the plans and Orson Krennic trying to stop them. But then underneath there we have a bit of a cafeteria area with um, a bunch of officers sitting around and as well there's a little tower in there and that's just a little thing that happens here at Brick World. What was the process for stacking the tower? It looks like it's built modularly. The How tower you... was built in different sections so it splits in many different parts and it comes apart and together pretty easily because of that. Now we'll take a look at the rest of the displays in our area. We'll start off with uh, the Space Collab. In the middle you see Simon Wu's creation, the Star Destroyer crash, that epic scene from Rogue One, including the hammerhead right in there. All of the TIE Fighters, X-Wings, and Y-Wings were built by John and Drew. You also see that Nebulon Cruiser, and two Tantives, and even a Micro uh, Ghost. Simon's Star Destroyer crash was also nominated for spe Best Spacecraft. As we come along, we see uh, the insides of Lucas's Star Destroyer. Gives you a look at how complex the Technic structure is when you build uh, such a large scale spaceship. And then you can also see uh, the bridge to that completed. Coming down, we have the Jetta City Mock by Fowl First Lego Trooper, Daniel. Lots of variety in colors and shapes on these buildings, and a whole lot of minifigs in there. Uh, he has a few sunny, funny scenes set up as well, with some comical interpretations from Star Wars. As we move down, we continue the theme of Rogue One with the Urso Homestead by Drew simple mock but it really is a great 
uh, representation of the scene from the movie. Coming down, we have a few micro builds from Daniel with some cool yellow parts that he picked up from BrickFed. As we go down, now we enter the Order 66 section. This is Anders Build Alcone Productions. This is the death of Plo Koon. You can see the ARC-170 shooting down Plo Koon's Starfighter. There's also a bunch of lights in this mock. Light My Bricks was kind enough to offer Rebelug a very generous discount, uh, therefore sponsoring us. And you can see their products inside of his mock here. Coming down with the Order 66, we also have the Kashyyyk scene built by Drew. You can see Commander Gree there with the hologram getting ready to attempt to assassinate Yoda. There's also a few micro builds from Order 66 also built by Drew. And then a few other miscellaneous Star Wars builds and some other fun um, pop culture builds. Here we have Everett's Republic Frigate. UCS scale. And going on, we move on to some of Lego Spencer's creations. We have the wearable Death Trooper helmet, including lights. We also have a few of the iconic social media logos, like the Instagram and the YouTube logo. Also a Lego Spencer name card. Spencer's helmet was nominated for Best Replica. We also have a few builds from Nick Brick here. We have the DH-17 Blaster Pistol featured in Star Wars Battlefront. We also have Kylo Ren's epic lightsaber there. There's also a small grenade made out of a planet set. Moving on, we have Sean's display here. Sean mostly builds Halo. He did build that TIE Defender right there. But here is his main mock, his large Halo one. A scene, iconic scene from one of the games. And we get to Spencer's final mock here, the First Order Walker. This was modeled from the short glimpse we got of the Walker in Episode 7. Not much to work with, but Spencer was able to complete the full model. And finally, we have a Battlefield 1 mock from Everett. This is from the Amiens map. We also have another build here from Sean. It is a mosaic of Master Chief from Halo. And then we have the Lego Jesus mosaic uh, by Danny, me. <laughs> here are some friends of Rebel Lug, the mocks that they brought to the convention. We have some really cool right. recreations from Battlefield 1, a bunch of different weapons from Wii, Brick Builder Studios. We also have a gigantic Scarif mock with a huge cargo shuttle on it and a modified U-Wing. This was nominated for the best youth creation. We also have two mocks by Elijah here, a Star Wars clone base on Corellia and a tribute to Justin. Here's a quick mock by Life Bricks Dead. And then a few other mocks by Paul, the same guy who built the large Scarf Bunker, a Rainbow Six Siege inspired build. A few custom Lego Star Wars micro builds. Then we have a few trains over here, the first being one from John. And the next one being from me, Danny. Christmas inspired train from the Christmas uh, holiday Christmas train set. We also have a few builds here from Elliot, a large spaceship, and then a few train and other city vehicles, all custom. So kind of in a big block, right? <laughs> right. Here we have some builds by Nate, Drew's brother. Some micro scenes some few vignettes and a few spaceships. We also have Lego Spencer's two custom resistance X-Wings. This is before the set was created. He came up with those. We also have the famous Gabe mock right here. His signature brick is the 2x4.
And the last Rebel Lug collection at our table is the Mox from Tyler, Life Bricks. We start off with Ordo Plutonium. We move on to the Scarif here. Lots of little greebles on the sand. We also have a very unique uh, Old Republic mock here. With a nice waterfall there. Two Republic Striker class starfighters coming in for backup. And finally, we have my personal favorite, the Road to the Umbaran Capital. There are loads of Umbaran troopers and 501st troopers, including some customs uh, created by Clone Army Customs. You can see the Umbaran MHC there in the back with a small building there that the Umbarans are coming out of as the 501st attack. And that leads us back to the Scarif Tower. That wraps up the display here at Brickworld Chicago 2017. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the Rebel Channel.